afternoon, I'm Carl Wasty and this is the Chappies Did You Know Show. The show that tests your general knowledge by asking you one question. Did you know? <laughs> Two amazing contestants to introduce you to. Before I do that, a little something for you. Our SMS competition, here's how you play. Win 100 Rand airtime simply by answering this week's Did You Know question by SMSing answer A, answer B, or answer C to double three zero double one. SMSs cost 150 and free SMSs do not apply. Winners will be announced just before five, so stay tuned. So that's how you get involved. Let's get these guys involved. I've got some contestants for you. This is Wasima. She's from Joburg, and joining her is Samora. Make some noise for the red team! <laughs> We also have, all the way from Cape Town, Natasha, and joining her, Chanel makes a noise from the blue team! <laughs> so, Natasha and Wasima will be going head to head with Samkelo, who is currently top of our log at the moment, and on 10 points. But remember, this show is all about prizes. If you win today's show, you could be closer to a smartphone, and our grand finale, will, you'll be taking on two SA celebs for a chance to win really big. Who will they be? Well, we'll have to wait and see. Get into our Facebook fan page and yes, it's time to get into our first challenge. Here's your first game plan. Fill in the blank. General knowledge is tested in one of the categories. Once the category is randomly selected, each team is presented one question to solve. Teams play on touchscreen tablets with 30 seconds on the clock. The objective is to select and slide the correct answer into place and thereby fill in the blank. Press the buzzer to lock your answer in. Discussion with co-player and fans is permitted. So we're clear on the game plan, eh, guys? We got it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. All the rules are in. It's now time to get you a category. We have five options. Mr. Director, help me out here. Yes. I do know that all the highlights of this show will be on the YouTube channel. Hectic 99's one, I know this. Yes, what is the category, please? Thank you, Mr. Director. Confirmed, it is indeed nature is your first category. You guys have 30 seconds on the clock. Your time begins in three, two, one, go! Now, audience, I've asked them, squid communicate with one another by what? Squirting ink, changing the color of their bodies. Help them out here. You got it first. Hands off game tabs, please. Wasima, are you sure about this? Yes. You are playing for 50 Rand airtime in this round. Okay. Are you okay? All right, so let's hear what your answer is. Squid communicate with one another by what? Changing the color of their bodies. That is the correct answer. Congratulations, Wasima! <laughs> so, Wasima, you got a point for hitting the buzzer, okay, and getting the answer correct. But you know what, I'm throwing in another point as well. That's two points for you, plus 50 rate airtime. Make some noise for the red team, please. <laughs> Blue team, unfortunately, didn't get it correct, so no points for you guys. Very, very sad, but let's take a look at the scoreboard. Well, the scoreboard at the moment, two for the red team and nothing for the blue team as it stands. It's time for your next game plan. Mix and match. General knowledge is tested in one of the categories. Once a category is randomly selected, each team is presented with three questions to solve. Teams play on touchscreen tablets with 30 seconds on the clock. The objective is to mix and match the four options, sliding three correct answers into place. Press the buzzer to lock your answers in. Discussion with co-player and fans is permitted. One answer is designed to deceive. It's mix and match, a really cool game, but of course we need a category. Mr. Director, a category please. Yes, sir. Confirmed. Thank you so much. Your category is sports. You guys have 30 seconds on the clock. Your time begins now. They have a couple of options, audience. Boxing, South Africa, tug of war, and ping pong. And some of the questions are, at 1.47 meters tall, baby Jake Matlala was the shortest what world champion ever. Help them out here. Hands off game tabs. Red team, it's you again. Wasima, are you sure about your answers? No. Are you sure? No. You are playing for a 250 Rand music voucher. You've got to be sure on this one. Just a moment, though. Just to give me a second. All right. Yes. Mr. Director. All right. The director has confirmed that you only got two answers correct. 
Unfortunately, we cannot award you any points for this round because you failed to answer all three questions when you locked in your answers. I do apologize for that, but we need to go over to the blue team because let me go through the correct answers with you for a second, okay? It was boxing, South Africa, and tug of war, and I can confirm that you got one of those right, yes. which means that Natasha, you win a 250 Rand music voucher and the round. Woo! Big noise for the blue team! Okay, hectic, I know, but here we go. Scoreboard, two points to red, and another point to blue over there. So, here's a final round. Who will win? We'll have to find out. Here is the game plan. Guess who, where, or what? This challenge tests both knowledge and physical agility. A category is randomly selected and a distorted mystery image is presented. The objective is to guess who, where or what the image is. Both teams play on touchscreen tablets but must complete a physical challenge before pressing the buzzer. There are two minutes on the clock. Your host will provide clues. Discussion with co-player and fans is permitted. It's the final round. Mr. Director, that final category, please. Yes. Are you sure you want to do that? Confirmed. Your category is the wild card category. <laughs> and it is going to get wild because we've made this really, really challenging for you guys. You're not just going to answer on your game tabs this time. If you think you know who, where, or what the image is, you need to quickly rush to our Mind Your Sea Legs Challenge. So what you need to do is jump on our dizzy dot for five seconds, hop onto the plank, walk over it, hit the buzzer, and reveal your answer. Sounds simple enough? Don't worry, you're gonna get two minutes to do this one. Your time begins in three, two, one, go! So some clues for you about this. Ooh, this is a fantastic one. One of the earliest civilizations. You guys know what it is? They used to shave their eyebrows off their cats. Mr. Director, you're gonna have to help me out here. Guys, catch your breath, stand with me over here. Mr. Director, a photo finish on that one. You're gonna have to confirm it for me, please. Red or blue? All right. Okay. Red or blue? Okay, playback. Yes, thank you so much. It does look like the red team has won. We'll see why you're the winner. But not just yet. You have to answer the question first. Who, where, or what was the image? The Egyptians. The, the, Egyptians. the Egyptians. You said it nice and loud. The Egyptians is the correct answer. Congratulations. Come stand over here for me. Come stand over here. Just closer there. Closer. Just over there. All right, so what's we'll Seema? For winning this particular round, I'm gonna give you a 400 Rand clothing voucher. That's pretty cool. And I need to tally the scores to see who wins the entire game. So far, red team on four, blue team on one, so it's so clear. Red team wins the game! And of course, for winning the game, I love this chart, this chart that you guys have here. So for winning the game, Wasima, we're gonna give you a smartphone as well. Give me a high five for that. A smartphone, that's pretty cool. And we need to see if your points have some sort of connection, all right, on our leaderboard. Some Kelo's on top at the moment, he's on 10 points, and this is all for that grand finale where our contestants, well, the lucky ones, will be going in to face those two essay celebs for the grand prize. So, Wasima, unfortunately, your four points do not make it to our top five leaderboard, but let me just give you a recap of that for a second. You've got Kelly, Jade, Precious M and Precious and some Kelo is on top. So it does look like it's a pretty good round, but don't worry about that. You still got yourself a smartphone and a 400 Rand clothing voucher. It's pretty cool. But you know what? The finale, big prizes there, a gaming console, a TV, and of course, a 50,000 Rand education bursary. It's that time of the show where we say goodbye. Until next week, ask yourself this. What did you know?